All right, guys, just back here with another video. So as you know, Justin Trudeau has recently flip flop a little bit on his immigration policy. And Pierre Polyev just absolutely humiliates Justin Trudeau with a video that he put out on X. I just want to uh, read this here and then we'll have a look at the video. Then we'll talk about it after like usual. So it says Trudeau's massive flip-flop yesterday in an admission that the NDP liberals destroyed Canada's immigration system. I love that Pierre Paul Yev just continues to dig into Justin Trudeau and Jagmeet Singh and the NDP since they are guilty as well, considering they formed a coalition for two years. So let's have a look here at what they have to say here, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. There are a lot of pressures on our system. Um, increasing the immigration levels interestingly will take some of the pressure off of the system uh, because the stream on bringing in permanent residents uh, is has got room to bring in more and the big questions that we get all the time is you know as our government is raising immigration levels to the highest levels that have ever been in a few years we'll be bringing in 500,000 people a year um, people are like well we are already facing challenges in housing um, you know, where are we going to house these 500,000 people a year? Well, a lot of those people will be able to contribute in the building trades. Today, we're announcing that we will reduce the number of immigrants we bring in over the next three years, which will result in a pause in the population growth over the next two years. <laughs> Look at all the flip-flopping. And that's how it works, folks. Usually, when you're responsible for breaking something, someone else has to come in and fix it. Because if you're going to say, well, Trudeau created all these problems, but now he's going to fix it, so it's going to be okay. This guy hasn't fixed anything. Why would anyone trust him to do that? And that's one of the biggest reasons that people don't like him right now. Immigration has actually replaced or jumped into the top five of most issues for Canadians and climate change has moved back to sixth or seventh. Why? Because A, a lot of what they say about climate change is just nonsense. But B, when you have 500,000 people or a million people coming into a year and you're building a couple hundred thousand houses a year, it doesn't work. Clearly. Oh, well, they can come in here and help build up, are they? Because where are the houses? Why is, there, why is there so much red tape? Why do you have to, like, go through so much just to get houses built in this country? Of course, you have to have regulations. They have to be made safely, but they also need to be done as quickly and safely as possible. Quickly being a key word, especially when you have an open border, basically. But they don't. But now he's saying, oh, I, I've made a mistake and I'm going to fix it. No one trusts you. And you keep hum humiliating yourself. I don't know if you guys watch Question Period. Sometimes I show videos from there. But, I mean, every time when Pierre Polyev and Justin Trudeau go head to head, I mean, Pierre Polyev just absolutely dominates and humiliates Justin Trudeau. It's not even close. Um Northern Perspective, Ryan and Tanya have actually said that they've been at question period. And when they're up in the balconies watching both sides go back and forth, apparently what they say is that when Justin Trudeau's talking, Pierre Polyev just stares him down and smiles at him because he knows everything Justin Trudeau says, Pierre has an answer for. He knows it. He knows he's got Pierre, uh, Justin Trudeau at checkmate every time he speaks. And I know liberals don't like it. And well, Pierre Polyev's an asshole. He's too mean. That's what you need. Harper, Shear, and O'Toole weren't this much of an, of an attack dog. They didn't expose Trudeau the way they could have exposed him. Pierre Polyev has learned from those mistakes, and now he's the one doing it. And that's what needs to be done. This Politics is not a Mr. Nice Guy business. It's a brutal business. Go check out Donald Trump's interview with Joe Rogan. He gets into that pretty deeply. It's a rough business, as Donald Trump well knows. But Pierre Polyev knows it too. And he knows he's got to go after Justin Trudeau and expose him and humiliate him and embarrass him every chance he gets. And he's doing a great job of it.
But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Do you agree with Pierre Polyev? Do you think Justin Trudeau is actually going to be the guy to fix all the problems he's created? Sounds weird to me. Uh, also, please don't forget to like and subscribe as I really, really enjoy um, you know, engaging with you guys. And I enjoy you know, watching you know, more and more people like and subscribe. And it really helps growing the channel. It's just... It's, it's an awesome feeling when, when you get a bunch of subscribers. So, again, thank you very much to everyone who has liked and subscribed the videos. If you haven't, please smash those buttons. And I will be back shortly with a new video.